Tricolored filament, have you ever seen it before? Well, guess what? I've got some right in front of me. I'm PJ from 3D Printing Canada, and today I'm gonna to teach you about dual and tricolored filaments. All right, so let's start off. The first thing I wanna mention is when you buy a dual or tri-colored filament uh, and you want to make sure you print it correctly, one thing to keep in mind is do not let that spool spring back on itself. You want a clean, straight line to the printer where it isn't twisting or doing anything funny because you can end up with somewhat a streaking in your print. I'm going to talk to you about the multi-colored filament calibration disc by Abby Math. Okay, you can find this on Colts 3D. She's an either elementary school or high school teacher. Um, you could probably look her up yourself. Now, if you wanted to actually print these so you can have the colors actually line up where you'd like them, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna download this calibration, um, multicolor calibration puck here. And what you're gonna do is you're going to Print it out and then you will actually see where the colors are and you can go in 15 degree increments by lining it up on here to get the colors on the print where you want to. So for me to actually get it to go from red to gold, I printed one of these out in this color and actually, instead of positioning my part straight, I had to turn it 45 degrees, and then I was able to get the red to gold to silver where I liked. So if you were doing like, let's say a dual color, you wanted to have one side of it be, let's say red and one side gold, if that's what you had, that's where this comes into play. So you're gonna wanna print that out, and I'm gonna show you how to do that on Prusa Slicer as soon as we're done talking about all these. Now you can really see when you do vase mode how well it actually transitions. This is a red, green, and blue mixed together. That's uh, in vase mode. And we did it again here. As you can see the cool transitions there, right? As well as this, um, God, I forget what his name is. He's a Pokemon anyways, <laughs> and you can see the transition. Now, in this one, this is where I can show you the actual mistake, uh, where the roll had sprung back on itself a little bit, and you can see some streaking in the print. So you wanna try to avoid that, that way it transitions like these do between the colors. All right, guys, now that we've got all that covered, I'm gonna take you over to the slicer and show you how you can calibrate your print to get the colors on the exact side you want. So let's head over to Prusa Slicer. We'll see you in one second. It's really simple to do this. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab a model here. So I'll just grab this Adams Family uh, hand. Uh, my computer's a little full, so it takes a minute to load. All right, so all you have to do is take a look at that print from Abbey Math and Colts 3D. So you're gonna take a look at that and you're gonna look where your colors lay out. And then you're gonna use that arrow that's on there to, for your zero point. So here's the model laying flat. Just imagine that arrow facing forward and in the center of your model. Now, you can use the rotate option here and it'll tell you. So because that's got the, the degrees laid out, we can go ahead and turn so let's say the colors were where i wanted like green on on um, the finger side there you could go ahead and turn to in my case with mine if i wanted the green on it would be at about 45 degrees so i'll go ahead and lock in at 45 So we'll go back again here. All right, it doesn't have to be dead on, but so now that we've got it at 45 degrees, 
I would get green here and then it would transition to red here and then it would go to blue for the rest. Now that I've got that hand position at 45 degrees and guys, that's all there is to it. It's that simple. So go ahead and have fun with your models, uh, line them up in the color order you want and uh, let's get back to the table. All right, guys, we're back. I hope that was really helpful and getting you to print your polychromatic dual and tricolored filaments. I gotta throw a big shout out to Abby Math over at Colts 3D for making this calibration disc. It's absolutely wonderful to get you on the right degree so you can get your part to have the colors in the places you want. That was absolutely wonderful you to, for you to come up with this and we thank you for it. It takes next to nothing in filament. It's maybe five grams. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you with everything to do with polychromatic filaments. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, share this video with your friends, and we'll see you in the next one.